Hi there! Hi! So Angie and I are... In our tiny house. Yes, in our tiny house. See, it's really small. Woo, Can't really woo, go woo. anywhere. <laughs> anyway, um, we just did some laundry, so we are going to be folding and putting our clothes away. But that gave us an idea to do what? To make a video about all the clothing that we have and try to count to see how many shorts, how many pants, how many underwear. What the total number of <laughs> articles of clothing that we both own together. Yeah. But we'll also do, I think, an individual one, like how many articles of clothing does Melissa own and how many do you, Andrew do, own? Do I own? Um, and just saying right now, I definitely own more clothing than Andrew does. I already know that, so he's gonna win this competition. That's not really it's a, not competition, a competition. This is just. But like I'm just letting you know. A check-in, a reality check. Let's yeah. See how many more pieces of clothing does Melissa have than Andrew? And you'll know. <laughs> you'll know. And you'll be able to comment. Do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna fold our clothes. Andrew, most of our clothes are in these drawers, which are actually built into the stairs. Andrew built the stairs pretty much so, like he created the stairs. I don't know if it's really technically like a carpentry no, way no, that he all. built it. Not at all. <laughs> I got some wood from the store, I cut it up and I eyeballed everything. And he made it, it work. It worked. It works. That's not how I function, so it's been a very interesting experience building this house together. But on a separate note, he built them into the drawer and he built them dovetail style drawers. So they're sturdy but the dovetail wasn't super like perfect. <laughs> it was but like wish it works. That's all but that it matters. Works. Yeah. It works. It's functional. And it keeps our clothes out of the floor and the stairs. We still yeah. have some work to do with our stairs. Like, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little bit of storage Stop. on the stairs. We're not sure where to put something, we'll put it on the stairs. <laughs> and that's one of our habits that we need to break soon. But, you know, small steps. That's right. Small steps. One step at a time. So anyway, I'm going to fold the clothes because I'm usually the one who puts the clothes away mm -hmm. because I'm a little bit controlling in that respect, I think. Cause I like it to be a certain way and I like them to fit and they fit really really well when I fold them like nice and neatly the Marie Kondo style which Andrew was the one who brought me onto that however Andrew's not very good at doing it <laughs> at least when up to I my standards clothes, he's not up to my standards when I fold the clothes that's when clothes go missing and that's when I'm like or Melissa's <laughs> like uh where did you put this or where's that where's my sock yeah. You know, things like that. So I prefer to put it away because Andrew can always find his stuff when I put things away. I don't ever Somehow, hear me complaining, you know, because I guess I'm so organized. Anyway, so I'm going to fold those up really quickly and then we'll start counting to see how many articles of clothing that we have in this tiny house, which is 20 feet long and eight and a half feet wide. And obviously this part is a little bit more narrow because this is actually our bathroom here, which has a tub which we don't really use. It's no. more of a storage it's place like storage right, now. right now. And um, our stairs. So it's taking up quite a bit of space. But other than that, it's eight and a half feet wide. Actually, no, it's not because this, the walls. So it's like- Yeah, wall to wall, it's probably like seven- And a half, right? To seven and a half Because it's feet. like half an inch. Yeah, you lose yeah. a lot with the walls, so. So anyway, yeah. I'm gonna go do that and stay tuned for the count. <laughs> The top drawer we keep our like underwear, bras, hats, scarves, winter stuff, bathing suits. Gloves. So we have five bathing suits, and then we have um, Andrew has three pair of underwear. Boxers. Oh, yep. yep. Boxer briefs. Actually. Boxer briefs. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 pair of bathing, 10 pair of underwear for Melissa. All right. And then I, I don't actually use pads. I use reusable pads, so I guess that counts. I have three, like, well, I use a Diva cup, and then I have, like, these, like, panty liner things that I use. They're clean, obviously. We have some winter hats here. So there's one, two, three, four hats, and one ear warmer. And then we have two scarves. 
a shawl. These are actually not technically ours. These are my mom's that I was supposed to fix, so I don't know if we should count them in or not. No, don't. We won't count them. These don't count, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. And actually fifteen, because I'm wearing like a little bralette thing today, so that's technically fifteen. And that's all we have in this first drawer, which is like the underwear, undergarment drawer. So the next drawer is our sock drawer, which basically is like tights and some leggings, like warmer leggings that I have. So I have these like ones here. So we have one, two, and then we have some tights. So three, four, uh, five, five, Six, seven, eight, eight tight kind of things for Melissa, and then we have how one. many? How many for Andrew? Andrew doesn't wear tight. <laughs> Silly me, Boober. Okay. So, and then we we pretty much share all of our socks. I don't know. You can't really see me, but we pretty much share all of our socks. We so do. No, we, we do. We no, share we share all of our socks. Pretty much, we share all of our both socks. Both of ours. However, I don't like it when Andrew wears my socks, but you know, because he always ruins them. They get like really sweaty, and then they get like crusty somehow. And then every every time I wash them, I try. I don't know. Maybe if I use fabric softener or something, then they would be soft again. <laughs> but whatever. It's really not that big of a deal because I actually don't wear that many socks. Andrew mostly wears the socks, so we just share them. Except except in the winter time which is why we have like so many warmer socks and not so many summer socks because we mostly wear our sandals. I don't know if you can see me, we mostly yes, wear our sandals. So anyway, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and then we have 22 and 23 in the back because those are dirty. So we own 23 pairs of socks. Ah! And then we have um, two pairs of mittens and one pair of, these are like the fingerless glove kind of thing, the wrist warmers. So I usually wear these in the winter time because we live in New York and it gets very cold. If you average our socks out, we each own 11 and a half pairs. Oh. Of course, Andrew would say that. Um, and then mm. we have two. We we have two belts in here, but I know Andrew has one more fancy belt, so three belts in total. Okay, so then this drawer is kind of like dresses and shorts. And basically, this is Andrew's part of the drawer, and the rest is mine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, yeah. the one I'm wearing. Nine. Nine pairs of shorts two little skirts and then the rest are dresses and some shawls so we have one two three four five these two are like shawl things so you can wear them as like a bathing suit cover which or we just like kind of wear them as a towel sometimes so there's two of those so let's see we have one two three four five six um seven eight nine well seven eight those are dresses So these are dresses and these are kind of like pants stuff. So that's one, two, three of those and one sweatshirt. So that's what we have. And then Andrew has his shorts and his bathing suit. So he has his one bathing suit here, which we put in the shorts drawer. And then he has one, two, three, four, five Plus shorts. I'm wearing one. And then a, one pair. So he has six shorts all together. All right, the next drawer. This is where we keep all of our shirts. So I try to organize it, um, my side, Andrew's side so that it's easier, but we do sometimes wear, well, mostly I wear some of Andrew's shirts, um, not really the other way around. Not too much. Not too much. <laughs> not too much. Maybe sometimes mm -hmm. Andrew forgets. Yeah. But some of the shirts are actually mine on his side, but they don't really fit on my side. Like this one, but Andrew wears that one also all the time. Anyway, so I have one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two shirts. I have twenty-two shirts, and the way I also organize them is like tank tops, spaghetti straps. Well, it's go spaghetti straps, tank tops, t-shirts, long sleeve shirts. 
So that's how I organize it usually. Andrew sort of organized it. I didn't kind of mess with it, but I kind of did that with his. He has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18. So this one's like a little sweater, so I guess we can count that. I know we, we also have some sweaters hanging up, which we'll get to, but we have 18 shirts pretty much that live in these drawers for Andrew. All right, let's close that up. Then the next drawer is our bottoms. So these are pants, pajamas, these snow pants, because it gets so cold. I don't know, you guys can't see any of that. Maybe we'll move the camera down. <clears throat> Great. So these are um, the stuff we have in here. I have my side here and Andrew has his side here, except for the fact that both of our pajama pants are on Andrew's side and we sometimes, we share like these sweatpants also. But let's see how many pants do I own. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, we'll say, because we share these basically and we share our snow pants. What was that, 16, right? 16. Okay, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve on Andrew's side. So he has twelve, I have sixteen. As you can see, I wear a lot of leggings. So I guess we'll count these as like shawls and sweaters. So we have one, two, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight. eight nine ten. ten and then these are scarves so we'll take those out eleven eleven this is also a scarf twelve thirteen fourteen so we have fourteen sweaters and then we have four scarves oh no we have another pair of socks okay so we have three pairs in here so, so we'll have to so just do a recap is it twenty yeah, oh, yeah, yeah because you said eleven and a half so we have twelve, 12 socks each. We have two sweaters. This is a little shawl thing that I I actually crocheted, which is kind of nice. So we have that. That's what total of three so far. We have Andrew's vest that he wore for the wedding with the tie. So that's four. I guess we, do we include the tie? Five? I don't know. Um, Andrew's shirt that he definitely hung up. So I would never hung up, hung up a shirt like that. Um, so. Shirt, the white shirt that we have. That's so six, seven, that's eight shirts, nine sweaters. Sorry, we just towels up there in the kitchen. We're at nine, right, Andrew? Mm hmm. Nine, ten, and then we have our coats for the winter. So we have one, two, three coats. Andrew has a coat as well, which I think is like back here, all like smushed up because it's one of those coats that you can smush into a bag. So that would be, they both have basically two coats each. And then in this garment bag, oh, we have another scarf as well. So we're going to add up to our scarf. So I think it's three scarves total, plus the four, so seven scarves total. And then in this garment bag is Andrew's suit. He has a suit and a fancy dress that we wore to Andrew's cousin's wedding. So that's pretty much it, I think, for our closet here. Okay, so this is the last place we have clothes. We have like hanging up things. So we have one sweat, one sweater, a hoodie, another sweater. So I guess we can count them all sweaters. You know, one, two, three, four of these. Um, we have two of these hats. These are the um, raw advantage his hats. So we have two of those. Plus we also have two other running hats that are on our stairs for storage. Um, do another sweater here. One, two, three, four, five sweaters so far. Let's kind of take these off and see what's back here. Five. Another vest. So I guess we can count that in the sweater. So six, a flannel, seven, um, two more hats. These are both mine. My mom gifted me this one, and we got this one, and some store, I don't know. And then another hoodie. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sweaters here. And then we have four raincoats. Because we have uh, matching 
biking raincoats so that we're, they're reflective and breathable. So when we go biking, it's like we're going to take these obviously on our bike trip when we go. And then we have we both have a raincoat each. So Andrew has one and I have one. And you know what's really funny about these raincoats? We both found them in Lost and Founds. Like no one was claiming them, no one wanted them. So we both have Lost and Found raincoats, which is kind of funny. I never thought about that. Anyway, I think that's all the clothing that we own.